Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the beautiful Willamette Valley of Oregon here. I'm with Sean Mellenbacher from the Hazelnut Breeding Program at Oregon State University with some great news. Uh, over the years, you guys have come up with some, some wonderful uh, varieties, new varieties that are resistant to eastern filbert blight and unique characteristics. Uh, we've had a lot of planting, a lot of interest in hazelnuts, and uh, specifically in this region of Oregon. Can you tell us about this new variety that just got released. The new variety is Thompson, in honor of Maxine Thompson, my predecessor, who started the breeding program in 1969. And the most distinguishing trait is the compact growth habit. It's for the kernel market, but is suitable for planting at high density and mechanized harvest, even more mechanized than currently done. Well, that's pretty exciting. You know, the, we've had some, some great varieties to work with, and growers have been really interested in double-density planting, at least for the initial, you know, the first several years, to maximize uh, production. And then they have this practice of, you know, removing every other tree uh, sometime down the road when the trees start crowding each other, right? Uh, but this variety, you're saying you could keep them in at that high density, and it'll work. What, what are some of the growth traits uh, compared to varieties like Yam Hill, say? Uh, that's an interesting difference because Yam Hill has a very spreading growth habit which can droop with the heavy nut load. Uh, Thompson has a round canopy which stays upright and I think could be maintained at high density uh, for the life of the orchard. Uh, suitable for over the canopy harvest as well as sweeping from the orchard floor. Over the canopy harvest, that's, that's pretty new, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we will see how well that goes, but uh, there are growers experimenting with that in Oregon and, and elsewhere. So this variety is better suited for that than the currently available ones. I think that's going to make a, a big difference if it is successful, you know, uh, for for the for the industry here. Um, what would you say about maturity? Is it is it an earlier maturing uh, variety? It's not super early. It's about three days earlier than Barcelona. Any any other unique features or characteristics uh, you'd say uh, for growers that might be interested in planting this? Uh, beautiful white blanched kernels. Percent kernel, maybe 46 percent. All right, thank you so much, Sean. We're really excited about this new variety. You know, we've, the, the other more recent varieties are, are things like Polio, and uh, so you guys have done a fantastic job. We uh, really appreciate your efforts. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.